ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Caesars Palace here in Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight, Top Rank and Budweiser present The War. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Chairman Dr. Elias Ghanem, the commissioners are Dwayne Ford, Jay Nady, Dr. James Nave, and Freddie Little, Executive Director, Chuck Minker. Representing the World Boxing Council here at ringside is the president of that organization, Jose Suleiman, and supervisor, Sam Macias. The chief physician at ringside, Dr. Donald Romeo. Also in attendance, Dr. Flip Womanski and Dr. James Wishgame. Timekeeper, Al Bicek. Counting for the knockdown seconds, Mike Lachella. The three judges doing the scoring for this bout. Jerry Roth, Dolby Shirley, and Tommy Kazmarek. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada, top rank, and the King of Beers, Budweiser, present the war. Let's get ready to rumble! Harold Rounds for the WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. The referee for this contest, working for the 65th time in a world title belt, is Richard Steele. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the gold colors of the famous Crom Gym in Detroit, Michigan. His professional record, 46 victories, 38 by knockout, only three defeats. Included in his history is the welterweight, super welterweight, middleweight, super middleweight, and light heavyweight world championships. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he challenges for the WBC super middleweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the five-time champion of the world, Thomas Hitman Hill. wearing the red and white trunks from Landover, Maryland. This Olympic gold medalist of the 1976 games has a professional record of 35 and one. 25 by KOs. He is a six-time world champion in five different divisions, including welterweight, junior middleweight, middleweight, super middleweight, and light heavyweight divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the WBC super middleweight champion of the world, Sugar. Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all times. If there's no question, shake hands, good luck. No nonsense, Richard Steele, the referee, as usual, very concise self, and we're ready to go. The war, Leonard Hearns, two. Thomas Hearns, 162 and a half. Ray Leonard at 160, scheduled for 12. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, marvelous Marvin Hangler at ringside. An historic boxing match about to begin. Leonard in the striped red and white trunks, waiting for Hearns in the middle of the ring in gold. And you know, Tim, Leonard seems strangely subdued uh, all during the introductions. Very quiet, not bouncing him out too much. First punch of the fight, a flicking jab blocked by Leonard. And Leonard is starting this fight the same way he did the first fight, side to side, moving around, which is a surprise to me. Early chanting of Tommy from the Hearns fans, and I would say so far an even split in fan affection from what we can hear. Being very cautious, both of them. Any surprise in that, you Mark? No, no surprise at all. But I think Leonard wants to end this fight very early. Both of them, really. I can, you can expect anything in this fight. Leonard trying to jab up through that defense of the longer arm turns. I don't understand <clears throat> how come Tommy's not shooting that right hand when Leonard's laying down there like that. You know, Mom, I don't like that dragging jab when Leonard throws that jab to the body either. Well, he's got something he's up with his sleeves, though. Good defense by Leonard on the right hand from Hearns. He blocked it. These are not 
the same two athletes, obviously, of eight years ago, but they're as determined, as competitive, and what a lot of great action they've provided in the intervening years. They're just about 20 pounds heavier than they were eight years ago. A wild swinging left on the taller Hearns, ducking under it. Right hand scored by Leonard. And Hearns says, yeah, you got me, no problem. It could develop into a problem. Hearns can be hit with right hands. Hearns seems a little tight. You know, Emmanuel Stewart said that's going to be the key. If Tommy can take Leonard's punch and come back. A looping overhand right by Leonard, you just saw. Something he's been working on in training. seconds of round one. Eight years later at Caesars Palace, a long-awaited rematch. Most thought would never happen. And we're underway. Not as fast as long. You understand? It's not as fast as long. Drink a little. Looking good. Keep going to start pumping his arms a little bit more now, okay? Because you're breaking up his long tackles. Everything set him up. Beautiful. You heard Manny you Stewart. everything you can do in that round, just about you can do. You saw it. Yeah, low and keep moving. Hey, boy, he's going to go for every feint you make. But i got to have that one-two at him. All right? See if we can do it off a double stick. That's Pepe Correa has replaced Angelo Dundee in the corner of Sugar Ray Leonard. Dundee giving great credit for his work right in the first fight. Leonard was behind on the cards, rallying him, saying, you're blowing it, kid. You're blowing it, son. And Leonard rallied to score the 14th round knockout. You know, they're fighting in 90 degree heat. Randy Stewart was fanning Tommy with a towel, which is not a bad idea. Temperature has dropped to a cool 90 degrees compared to more than 120. This evening began at 6 p.m. Pacific time in Las Vegas. Round two, scheduled for 12. You know, I'm surprised to see Leonard moving around the way he is then because in the first fight, he gave away the first five rounds with just exactly those tactics, and then he settled down, and he did much better when he fought flat foot. That's the way I thought they'd fight the fight. Well, we scored round one on our card for Hearns. Well, you know what's interesting in this fight? You know, both of them go down now, so that's what everybody's waiting for. It's no secret no more. Both have been down, indeed. Hearns suffering knockout defeat at the hands of Iran Barkley and Marlon Hagler, of course. Knocked down by James Kinchin in his last outing before coming on to victory late. A very close call. Leonard knocked down by Donnie Lalonde before stopping him in his last outing. Well, starting off, you can see they look, both of them look very slow. No hand speed like they used to have. One of the bigger men, Marvin. Well, you can see Leonard throwing big power to the body. There's a right to the body from Leonard. That's where he got hers at in the first fight, was to the body. Right hand try by Hearns, high over the shoulder of Leonard. Leonard's waiting for him to try it again with the right hand so he can counter. They look like two fencers at this point in round two. Waiting to see the other thrust and then make their own parry back. Right hand just short from Hearns. Had the opening, but Leonard pulled his head back. And it got Leonard's attention, Tim. First time I see someone push somebody off the ring and tell them, and tell them good luck. Short again from Hearns on the last right hand. Leonard missing with a wild left. You know, Leonard is depending on his punching about power ten. He's been training that way to hurt guys with every punch. You can see he don't use that hand speed like he had years before. Looking to bomb you with one punch at a time, which is not the usual Ray Leonard. He gets caught now with that type of tactics. Burns smiling confidently as again Leonard short. Then he's having trouble getting by that left hand of Tommy Hearns. He's trying to suck the Tommy in so he can throw the right hand. 
Good left scored by Leonard. His best punch of the fight thus far. Final seconds, round two. You can see Leonard trying to use all kinds of sight. Uh, was Leonard about. switching to southpaw, and he got tagged by Tommy Hearns. Now that's something that we saw in training, and Ray made light of it, said he was just doing it for fun. But he showed it to Hearns, and Hearns unloaded on him, Gil. Yeah, he sure did. Hit him with a nice straight right hand. I'm just, now I'm going to go to the governor jab and put a hard right hand behind it. But finish on that left hook. He's there for your right hand, left hook. Let's go with it. Every time you make a little freeze move, he's freezing. Now throw that, throw that one to him when you do that. But finish with that left hook. All right. We're looking fine. Get them shoulders moving more. Don't stand stationary in front. It doesn't look like that many punches been thrown. Doesn't seem that way to me either. They have Leonard landing more punches than Hearns. I, didn't, I thought it was the other way around. Well, that's the way we've scored it now. Two rounds on our card for Thomas Hearns. Between Gil Clancy and me, do you agree, Marvin? Well, Leonard's trying to intimidate Tommy. He's trying to make him do things that you know, make him mad out there. Make him come get a little harder with his punches. If he's nice and loose and just flicker it, he'd be a lot better. And here Emmanuel Stewart saying to Tommy Hearns, just keep working that jab. Jose Pepe Correa, a very live character in the corner of Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, quite a contrast from 1981 and the experienced Angelo Dundee. Korea worked briefly with IBF Waterway champion Simon Brown, left him and is now with Leonard. Round three scheduled for 12. Tim Ryan, marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Gil Clancy. Hearn's got a left hand through. Every time Ray starts to make any kind of a move at all, Tommy pops that left hand up. He's keeping Leonard right at the range he wants him in, right at this moment. You kind of wonder, looking at Ray right now, why would he want this fight anyway? Well, I think you answered that question uh, before the fight, Marvin. You, you think that he needs to somehow redeem himself from uh, the way you judged his uh, performance over you. Exactly, but you know what's happening, though. He's got a better fighter here. He don't have a guy like Adonis Milan in there. He's got a real champion in there. And also, Ray doesn't agree with your thinking about his victory over you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's great. Hearns jabbing effectively. Emmanuel Stewart, his manager and trainer, said that uh, he would do this and expected that as the fight went on, Gill, it would work in his favor, that he would be the stronger man in the later round. Well, he, again, he's popping and scoring points, Tim. A little right. short, a little short with it. Did land it, but Leonard picked it up. But you see, when you throw a punch like that, Tim, it, it keeps the other guy and intimidates him a little bit, keeps him from coming in. See, Leonard knows right now he's a little confident that Tommy don't have no chin, and I think that's what he's, get, he's aiming for. Well, he may be aiming for a big right hand. Right to the jaw of Leonard. Leonard took it, but it was a big shot. And another one sends him down. Right hand of the year, Leonard. It was the short right hand that staggered Leonard that really hurt him, although he tried to show that it didn't, but it did. Hearns bangs a hook to the body. A right to the body. The crowd roaring here at Caesars Palace. A right to the chest from Hearns. Leonard looks very unsteady to me, trying to gather himself, not punching. You gotta stay on top of Leonard right now. That's what Hearns has to go. I think Tommy's he's, taking a little too much time. Too right much time, too much Landed time. Landed a left to the but then back off. Short with the right hand. Tommy can't get careless in there because Leonard's trying to be slick. He's bluffing right now. Tommy shouldn't let him relax so much like this. Overhand right, missed by Leonard. Right back from Hearns, not much on it. Again, Leonard is trying to punch too hard, Tim. Right hand. Timing is not there. Landed by Hearns, right to the body, back from Leonard. End of round three. Give some water. Go, in there. Go down, Jake. Yeah. Gotta move the top of your body no more. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah. All right? Move, hey. Move, move the ball. Move Don't the wait on it. Don't be too straight up. Let's go back and see the knockdown. All right, here's Tommy's fainting. Beautiful. Followed in, and it was on the top of the head, Tim. Looked like a punch that almost missed. Right. That's the one that sent him to the canvas, but it was a clean right before that that really did the damage, not the one that knocked him down. He was stunned. He tried to pretend that he wasn't hurt, but he was already shaken. Exactly what has happened. He's being active. That's the right hand you're talking about, Tim. They both threw right hands. 
Again, that was a chopping That's punch. That's the one. But Tommy knew he hurt him. You can see Ray here try to act like it didn't hurt him, and it wasn't much of a punch that sent him down. It was that one you saw a moment ago that did the damage. Round number four. There was also a little delay. That's right, Marvin. There was a little delayed reaction, a short chopping right from Hearns. I expect the Lily to come out now trying to act to show that he wasn't hurt at all and uh, try to take it back to Tommy. Hearns a little looser with the jazz now, the jab, a little more confident as you might expect. Well, his corner told Hearns to go out and fight him, and that's the only way to do it. Well, he was very successful using that left hand. I just keep using that left hand all night, make Ray, Ray reach, and then nail him when he reaches. Ray's having a lot of trouble getting any distance on Tommy up to this point. And as long as they stay in long range, Hearns is going to score those points. Ray has to get inside that jab, start banging to the body. That's what he's looking for, the big hook. He's waiting for Tommy to jab so he can count to take the confidence out of the eyes of Thomas Hearns because it's apparent right now Thomas Hearns believes he's the boss. And Tim, this is not the Thomas Hearns that we saw fight James Kitchen. That's right. for sure. He looks a lot more better today. He said he wasn't motivated against Kitchen. He said he looks like a different fighter. There's that overhand right tried by Leonard. It grazed Hearns, and then Ray came back with a body attack. Hearns would have to keep the pressure on Leonard. So Tommy's starting to drop that left hand now, though, Marvin. Look where it is. That could be a bad mistake because Lennon's looking for that. Tommy should fight him, and that's the way to fight him. So Lennon knows he's got to fight him. And Richard Steele just warned Ray Lennon to keep him up. See, Len Lennon just can't get the proper distance. He's trying for the big knockout. He's looking for the chin. You know Tommy's got that weak chin there. Left hand blocked by Hearns, handily, with his right glove. Short right landed by Hearns. Now bangs to the arms of Tommy Hearns. And it lands a good body shot. And a good straight right hand. Tried to wing that overhand right again. <laughs> Hearns fires back, scores a right of his own. Misses badly with a right. That was the go home punch though, Tim. And he was able to get away with it. Now Hearns tying Leonard up for the first time in the bout. by Hearns. No full impact with the right, but it did score. Leonard missing. You can see that Leonard's trying to build back up his confidence now. Well, Hearns now knows that Leonard's going to try to land that overhand right. He's seen it frequently. Final seconds of round four. A better fight to this point than many, many people expected. He has no, has no answer for the right hand. Do it off a jab. I want to see some jabs in the hard right hand on top. Squat when you do it. Jab, squat, throw it over top. Then, Ray, when you come back the next time, hurt that body. Start hurting that body. I got to get those legs away from him. Got it? You keep sliding side to side. Going back into round number four, earlier in the round. That was that first amazing right hand that uh, just got Leonard's respect. Yeah, but it was on the end of the punch. Right, but it makes Leonard think about it, though. Well, oh, he knows that he's in there with a fight now. Gil, what about Correa's instructions to Ray Leonard? Well, you know, he's telling him a, a lot of things, uh, Tim. I, I, maybe a little too much. Yeah, tell the guy one shot. thing, you know, you want to back the guy up or move him behind the jab. But he's he's uh, really telling he's him worried. too much. He's worried. <laughs> Marvin Hagler says he's worried, and Leonard comes out with a charge. That means uh, Correa, the trainer in Leonard's corner. Round number five scheduled for 12. And again, as long as Tommy can keep Ray out there, this is almost a duplicate of the first fight where Lynn is giving away all of the early rounds. Can't get inside, can't go to work. And he didn't go to work until he landed the one big punch on Tommy in the sixth round. We have scored the first four on our cards for Tommy Hearns, including a knockdown in round three and a close round yeah. four. There's that scoring jab of Hearns. Again. Fourth round was a very, very close round. Lynn is looking for the big hook there. 
And Tommy's just the jab. And Tommy's dropping that left jab again. But he does it all the time, Bill. He's done it forever. I and know you, you'd like to see him change it, but you know he won't. And he's got hit on the chin doing it. Yes, he him. has. And you notice how slow that his jab is coming out. You notice that Ray just can't seem to reach him. He tries to he's throw He's got to get right closer. In. He's got to get closer. Now is when Leonard should go to work. Right now is right when there. he should go to work. Short right landed inside by Hearns. Again, this is Hearns' territory, where they are right now. Right hand by Hearns, landed, and a left hook blocks Hearns. Leonard after him. Leonard, Hearns trying to tie him up, and he does. Combination by Leonard, rock Tommy Hearns, he's still wobbly. We're in the fifth. Well, you know right Another now, right hand on his chin. Tommy's fighting back. Overhand right. Hearns fires a right hand back, but he's reluctant to tie up and Leonard. Leonard's using a lot of energy, Tim. Hearns just covering up. Right Leonard's hand landed punch. again by Leonard. Hearns covering up. Leonard trying to find an opening. Hearns fires back and misses. Now finally grabs on to Leonard. Tim Hearns is not out of it yet. No, he's not. Here's this solid punches by Leonard. Leonard to the body. There right he is. hand right down the pipe on another. Hearns in trouble. Hearns has got to fight back. He's he is fighting, fighting back. back. He's Left to the fight body back. and a right. He's got to get him back. Fight. He's got to be throwing punches right now. Right now. Hearns, throwing punches. Hearns legs a little shaky. Scored a right hand inside. Leonard may have tired himself. Spent a lot of energy, Tim. Well, missed a lot of punches. Under 30 seconds left in round five. A swinging left on the break, scored by Leonard. Nice, a left nice scored one. by Hearns. Short with a right hand is Leonard. Hearns is dropping back and dropping his hands. Hearns trying to load up on the right after taking all of that punishment. Final seconds, round five. Jab by Leonard, not much on it. Hearns appears arm weary and still unsteady. This is what makes a great fighter. This is what's gonna make you great. You understand? Put your hands down. Hold your head back. Hold your head back. Okay. This is what's gonna make you great. There's that left hook of Ray Lennon. It's the same one that hurt him in the first fight. Kept waiting for him to throw that left hook, and he nailed him with it. He got inside. Now he's close. Just beat him to the punch. When he's close, that's when he can do his damage. And once he hurts you, he's a great finisher. The right and left combination. There's the right. The left wobbling. Hearns refused to go down and landed in the ropes. Leonard attacking him, but Hearns surviving. One more look at it. Emmanuel Stewart screamed at Hearns when he got back. This is what makes a great fighter. The way he rallied in the fifth and telling him, obviously, to accept this challenge. And he also said that Leonard is out of gas. Spent a lot six. of energy last round. And he, uh, Emmanuel Stewart in the pre-fight said, if Leonard can't get him out of there with his big punches, he's going to be in trouble. Two good jabs by Hearns early here in the sixth. The questionable legs of Hearns will be tested now. Well, Leonard's breathing is real hard in this round. Leonard right looks tired right now, Tim. He's going to have to get a second win. And that's when Hurts should put the pressure on him right now. The gamble with him. you got to gamble. You're right, Marvin. And that's what they're screaming at Tommy from the corner. Get off. By him right. waiting is giving Leonard time to figure out a new plan. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, Gil Clancy. Nice. There's a good left by Hearns. And hear the impact. Right hand blocked by Leonard. Leonard's waiting for that jab now. He's giving Leonard time to think. Well, anytime Leonard starts moving that head around, Tommy should go to the body. Just faint. <laughs> Leonard has become the puncher. He's not throwing enough punches to win the rounds. He's throwing punches to get Tommy out of there. But I think if he doesn't get him out of here, I think he's going to wind up blowing a decision because he just is not busy enough looking for the one big punch. There's that head moving. That's when Tommy should go right to the body. Anytime Ray moves that head in front of you. 
Good jab by Hearns. Good one back from Leonard. Both finding the range here in round six, but not throwing them in bunches. 33-year-old Sugar Ray Leonard, 30-year-old Thomas Hearns, into the sixth round scheduled for 12. A knockdown by Hearns in the third. A big round in the fifth for Leonard, who staggered it. Tommy Hearns. Then he's looking for that one big punch against him. Now it's wide open. Give him a little time to figure out a plan, and so then he's going to come up with a good combination. Leonard just missed with a right hand. Now Hearns is stalking Leonard, but he's not moving his hands. They should have been the hooks right there. Tommy should throw the hook. Leonard's dropping his hands now, like he ain't hurting me. And Leonard ducked under a right hand from Hearns. It takes a left on the next exchange. Watch the fake. The limit. I know, I know if I was in Tommy Hearns going, I'd have a faith in that jab and hook into the body. What's he doing? Why is he standing there without punching? That's when Leonard gets off. How big a puncher is Sugar Ray Leonard now, Marvin, based on your fight with him? Well, he couldn't punch me. He caught me with the best shots. Didn't really hurt me or stung me at all. That's the end of round number six. I think it's because of the weight difference. Not a big action round in the sense that I had, gentlemen, that perhaps they both were kind of playing, let's get a little rest here after a very vigorous fifth. Good. Here's Emmanuel Stewart in the Hearns corner. No, it's not your punch. Might need a little grease walk. Tommy's got to keep his composure. You're letting the pressure on us. Emmanuel Stewart wants more out of his fighter. Let your hands go. Punch more. Don't let Leonard punch so much. Well, I felt that way last round, Tim. Uh, uh, Tommy was stalking and stalking, but he wasn't moving his hands. He said, we came to fight this guy. Let's fight him. Round seven, a short right landed by Hearns. First exchange. What I noticed is when Leonard starts flurrying, he starts throwing punches. Hearns is standing there and cover up. Hearns picking up the pace, bangs to the body. Leonard trying to block punches, but not punching back. Hearns driving him along the ropes, a combination. May have him in some trouble, hard to tell right but now. But he's missing a lot of punches, Yes, Tim. he is. And in this heat, after one guy gets finished punching, then the other guy will come back. And he's taking a lot, it takes a lot out of you when you miss those kind of punches. He's got to jump on him again. Crowd came to its feet, but he did not score heavily. We're in the seventh, scheduled for 12. A Again, dramatic Tommy, foul. Tommy has Ray out where he wants him. Sharp left from Ray to the body, a little bit low. That's where he wants to hit Tommy in the body. Good Tommy's right got the, the left hook right here. There it is. And throw it again, throw it again. This is where Tommy sits there, and that's how Ray gets off. Can't sit there. Left and a right from Leonard. Short with a right, right hand back from Hearns at land. Shows that it looks like Leonard's a little weak right now, Tim. He got moved by that right hand, and it wasn't that hard a punch. 90 degree temperatures here at Caesars Palace on a June night. More than 15,000. They've been up and down out of their seats for the action. I think the key to this punch for Hearns is that left hook. He should use the left hook a lot more. Through the body, Marvin. The body set up, to the head, then that'll the set right up, hand. Right, that'll set up the other punches. Body and head to the right, straight right hand. Again, Don't now, play with him. Again, Don't now, play Tom, with him. Tommy's not getting off and up right now. He can't play with him. He's hanging in there, dropping that hand down. Tommy is not using those hands enough. Using them between the round, not using them now. Look at Leonard's able to get the full range for him just throw that right hand. He's got his head up. That's what I said what Tommy does. He folds in, tucks under, he stops punching. But Hearns missed two punches there that should have been target practice for him. Now he goes to the body and connects. Vicious body punches by Sugar Ray. Hearns jabbing back. But the body blows and Leonard now push Hearns away. Under 30 seconds to go round seven. Tommy looks tired. Ray looked tired at the start of the round. But this is who's got the most endurance who's going to win this fight. I don't think it's not necessary to punch him power. Well, he did a lot of feigning. Neither guy able to land. Wound up with Ray standing behind Hearns. And Hearns is 
Back up punching him. In the round number seven, difficult round to score. Remember early on that Hearns knocked Leonard all along the ropes with Gray not punching back, and then Leonard came back well. Oh, Eddie, check him out here, good. If the judges remember the beginning of the round, they give it to Hearns. Ray Charles, baby, look. You move standing up too tall, number one. Tired of too straight. Now listen, you got to get the body. And then take the legs first. Go in, steal what you want, and move him around a little bit. Steal what you want and move around. Here's the early part of the round where Hearns was knocking Leonard all along the ropes, and Ray didn't really take any damaging blows, but he didn't punch back at all. So Hearns certainly got scoring points there, and there was the best punch was that right you saw right there. Exactly. But Hearns got a nice left hook, and I don't know why he used it more. That you won't punch. Cut it up. You got to punch. Physical fighter. Forget the boxing. Fight the man. Oh, God. Now Emmanuel Stewart saying, fight the man, physical boxing. We're into round number eight. Hearns and goal, Leonard in the stripes. If Leonard can start reaching Hearns with that left jab, Tommy's going to be in a little trouble. He has to keep that jab going to keep Ray out where he wants him. I'm looking at Ray's left eye right now, too. One of them starting to look a little smaller than the other one. Maybe Tommy hit him in the eye a little bit. There's that piston jab. Not quite the same sting or speed it used to have, but it can still hurt you. And more importantly, it scores points right now, Tim. Well, the odds makers thought the fight probably wouldn't go past eight rounds. We're into the eighth. The so-called over and under in Las Vegas betting circles. We're in the eighth round. Tommy can't hang on the ropes at all. He's got to stay in the center of the ring. That's he's, the key. He's not using his hands enough right now. He's not even using that left hook. And Tommy loves the left hook. He's got a beautiful left hook. Turns boxing. You heard Stewart say at the end of the round, go out and fight him. Then he's trying to take his confidence away from him. Since he's been able to do that, Marvin. I don't think he's taken this shot. Double hook, double hook to the body, the hook to the head, come back with the straight right hand. Ray is going to have to explode and explode soon. We're saying that Tommy's not punching much. Ray isn't exactly a ball of fire in there. But this is where you give Ray that time. Right hand landed, not full impact, but it did land. That's the rest of I'm talking. More See, of those for Tommy. When Tommy is. is Fighting offensively, he seems to have it all his own way. I don't know why he waits so long, but I think that's what Manny Stewart's talking about. Seems every time he starts to unload, he gets the best of it. Under a minute to go in round number eight. Hearns forcing the attack. That's what he's got to do. Keep Linnitz back against the rope. We have, waiting, waiting a little too long to get off. We have Tommy Hearns ahead, having given him Four rounds cleanly. We we'll wait for Tommy to pick up. Tommy's got to come right back. Ray looks like he's about ready to do something, but he just can't get past that left hand of Tommy's. Look how weak he looks right now, Ray. Hearns pushed him. What appeared to be a staggering punch was really from a push. It was a push, but Ray's legs didn't hold him very well. Final seconds of round eight. And they're asking Tommy, pleading with him to get off. Let him, let him go. Let the punches go. What are you doing? Who is that? You know how dirty Ray is. I don't believe that. Both of these guys were wide open and neither guy punched. Exactly. You know what? You know Until Ray Until after dirty. the bell. In the Ray Leonard corner. That is the same thing that happened in the first fight. Stand too straight up. Too tall, man. Ray, when you're going to throw to my up. hand, do it off a jab to the belly. Mm -hmm. Then you can throw it on top now. I want to see you go out and do it now. I Look. need some body work, man. You're too straight up. Come, Come down a little bit, okay? Let's start attacking attack on both sides of that body. Pardon me? This is not so bad. You all right? Okay, now all you got to do is throw punches. Well, so far, Gail's third card, Ray Leonard gets round five big when he wobbled Hearns. We gave him round six in a close one. And everything else we've given to Tommy Hearns, although he scored four and seven closely. And, of course, Hearns has a knockdown in round three. Right. I think Ray Leonard has a big mountain to climb right now, Tim. 
That's the way it looks on our card into round nine. I noticed that they started off very slow. Well, at the end of that last round, Marv, they both stood there looking at each other. Both guys had their hands down. Neither guy threw a punch. You see Living hitting him right in the chest now. You yeah. see that jab is bothering Ray all the time. You know, Tommy, Tommy's the one that hurt his eye in the first beginning. In the first fight. Right. You wonder whether or not he's still thinking the same thing. There was that left hook of Tommy Hearns. A little low, but that's what he has to do. Ray is throwing range fighters out there now. Not too much on him. Leonard's waiting to see what's going to happen, how tired he can make Tommy. Well, he's looking to land that one big punch, and he's been looking from the opening bell. The low blow from Leonard and gets a warning from Richard Steele. We know about the low blows. <laughs> you had a few of those, did you, Marvin? <laughs> Or did you throw a few, or both? Oh, well, you know what happened. <laughs> right now, Sugar Ray Leonard looks like a puzzle fighter. He's standing straight up, which his corner told him not to do. And he just, he's always out of the range when he's throwing those bombs he's trying to throw. He's trying to show Tommy that he's got bigger, I think, that he can punch. Right punch hand back. counter landed by Hearns. And Leonard landed a right hand too, Tim. Yeah, that was coming in. He scored first. Thought Hearns had a little more impact. Hearns just landed a good left hook to the body. That's just what he should do more of. He come back to the head with the hook. Short Tom, to that right. Tommy, but Tommy set it up beautifully that time. Tim. I think that punch there just hurt Tommy right to the ribs. I see him flinching. See him? Right here, he's flinching. He's spitting blood. And that's what Leonard's doing. He's attacking the body now. See, Ray is looking for that one big punch, though, Mark. And sometimes you can wait in the fight. There it is again. He's just out of range. He'll be waiting and the fight's over. He said, well, he never found it. He's got to be busy. The punch will come by itself. So he has to stop putting well, it together. What's Tommy stop punching for? Why does he stop punching? And he's letting, he's letting uh, Ray back him up. And he knows Tommy gets in trouble when he backs up. There you go. Coach. That's what I'm looking for. And now coming back with a straight right hand. That one hurt Tommy. Short right, right scored by Leonard. Right and a left and a right. Hearns fires back, but Leonard had the better of it. He's got to fire back. Well, this is, when Ray, this is what Ray has to do. Come on, Tom. He can't fight from outside. Big right, right hand by Tommy Hearns. Hearns. A good one right to the chin of Leonard. Didn't move him, but well, it was Tommy a good left hook back from Leonard. Tommy dropped his right hand. Tommy dropped his right hand, and that, that was his downfall. Leonard trying to spring to the advantage of that left hand. Tommy's tired. Final seconds of round nine. And Tommy doesn't have a leg under him right now. One good solid punch. He's gone down. Leonard checked him out, going back to the corner. You gotta listen to me real good, because this will maybe be the last round of the fight, Tommy. You got to come out and let your big shots go. You cannot afford to make this fight go longer now. You understand? You gotta listen to me very come. You got to come out and let your shots go. Try to get this man out of here this round, okay? There's the left hook that staggered Tommy Hearns. Blocked the next two, but he was still wobbly, and there came the right. Leonard working inside, then brought up that left. Blocks to the right hand. Well, he followed with the right hand after Hearns covered up. So we're into round 10. There's Roberto Duran working the Spanish telecast, Spanish-speaking telecast tonight. The WBC middleweight champion with a remarkable win over Iran Barkley. Talked about as the next opponent for the winner here. I right, Ray feels that he hurt him in the last round, Tim. He's right on him. And this is where Tommy doesn't belong. Right. On the ropes, allowing Leonard to get within punching range, which is what he's doing. And he's not punching. Right there. Leonard's right in front of him, and he's not getting off. Now, now Leonard has the distance. Right. Hearns is letting him have the distance. Leonard's jab starting to take effect. Well, because he's getting a little closer. Tommy's not pumping that jab anymore. And the Hearns legs don't look so good. A left to the neck from Leonard. You heard Emmanuel Stewart saying to Hearns, you've got to fight. You've got to go get him. Tim, to... Leonard started to put, it, to put his punches together. That's what he has to do. Get close enough. Just keep those hands moving. The big punch comes all by itself. Tommy looks sloppy every time he backs up. Legs aren't there anymore, Mom. Maybe the fact that he had to make that 163 and a half pounds, maybe not. But the legs aren't there. 
I don't know why he's not firing that right hand a lot more. That's, even if he misses it, he'll keep way back a little bit. See, this one, this one, Tommy looks good when he's coming forward. And when he's sticking that left sticking hand that left, uh, Keeping Ray away from him. He has to move and keep him away. Round number 10, scheduled for 12. Just shook Ray a little bit from the top of the head with that and let him go. He's letting him go. He's letting him have his way in there. What you wait? wait I don't know what he's waiting for. If he's not doing anything else, he should be pumping that jab. Exactly. Ray's going to try to come over the top with the right hand now. Not doing anything else. Double the jab. Pump the jab. Hearns has got to wake up now. He's got to get that second win and start waking up and letting Gray know that he's not tired. Gray missed with a right, a short chopper back landed by Hearns. Under a minute. A little blood coming from either the mouth or nose this is on of the Hearns. Cheek of Hearns. Counter right missed. A little cut under the left eye of Thomas Hearns. That's Insignificant. Huh? Insignificant. No damage there. No serious uh, problem. Nice. Good, solid left for Thomas Hearns. We finally get that little energy that snapped that. And that's what he's got to do. He's got to show when it he, he's got the snap. When he has Ray punching from outside the way he is now, he's in command. It's only when he slows down and allows Ray to get inside. Well, you know, Ray knows how to go to distance. And I think that's what's going to be the advantage in this fight right now. Early part of the round, you'd have to score for Leonard, but Hearn's coming back here now in the later seconds. Down to 15 in round 10. There you go. Short right inside by Hearns. Counter back to the body. Hearns misses with a right. Hearns has got to go forward. Lands a left. Final seconds of the tenth as Leonard scores. The right hand. Oh, you got to do throw it, baby. They're begging you to throw the right hand. The cut. Get the damn camera out of there. Throw the right hand, Tommy. That's going to take you home. This is the 11th oh, no. round coming up. Oh, no. The 11th round, you don't want to fight, let it go. Thomas, listen to me. Jab right hand, left hook. I want that right hand straight to the forehead, come back with the left hook. Behind. You can knock him out with a jab, straight hand, left hook, but the straight right hand has to hit him in the forehead, come back with right the hand. Hand. Gone, but I want you down a little hand. bit, okay? All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right, let's six go now. Minutes, six minutes. All right, we got six minutes. Let's do it. Round 11 upcoming. We have given Ray Leonard two cleanly, two close ones. It could be scored either way. The rest of it to Hearns, and Leonard comes charging across. Richard Steele cut him off as right, now Hearns was not out of his corner. Let's see if, if, if Tommy allows Ray to get within punching range. It's almost like allowing him. He doesn't have to allow. He can yes. pump that jab. Look at the low blow. He should take a start taking a point from Ray when Ray is like that. There's that overhead right. Trying to land the haymaker and missed it again. But as long as he can get away with it, tempted to throw it four times and miss and land the fifth, it's okay. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy's not counting back. Tommy's got to stay in the middle of the ring. Short uppercut and a good left back from Leonard. You see, Tommy seems to be waking up right now, right then. Tim Ryan with Marvin Hagler, Gil Clancy in round 11 of the scheduled 12 round championship bout. Hearns, Leonard two. Hey. There's a right by Hearns. Big right hand by Tommy Hearns. Another one. Another one. And a lift. Down goes Leonard with a combination from Hearns. Leonard looks hurt. Gets up, but he is hurting. Tim, I think that his eyes are clear. He may be hurt a little bit, but his eyes are clear. Hearns after on the left of the body. Leonard firing back. Down twice in this fight. A short right by Leonard. Well, believe me, Leonard's in this fight. I, a I short right by Hearns. Iris Hearns, I'd still use that left jab. Keep pumping that jab. The other punches will come. Hearns just got to make sure Leonard don't get that rest. You got you to use it. There you go. Hearns counters with a right. Leonard tied him up. Boy, both of these guys are showing all the championship heart in the world, though. More than anybody expected tonight, the kind of action they've been able to generate. Their hearts were never in doubt, but the ability they've shown here 
A struggle into the 11th round, firing bombs has really been remarkable. I don't think Tommy needs that right hand business anymore. I think all he needs to do now is pump his, pump his jab and coast home. Well, he's got two knockdowns on the scorecard, too. We've got him ahead handily. And look at Ray bang him Ray back. Ray bangs him back, a good left hook. Big mistake to count Ray Leonard out of this fight. I'm not counting him out. No. <laughs> I'm just pointing out the score. What Ray's doing is he can't possibly. He's got it. He's doing what time he should be doing. Under 30 seconds to go. In the 11th round, this is a 12-round fight. There's a right hand by Leonard. Right, right, right hand chance. shot from Leonard. So and bangs inside. Tommy lets him go, lets him have it. And Tommy's a little tired. Tommy shouldn't be backing up. Right hand by Hearns, grazed the chin of Leonard, but he punched right back. End of round number 11. Let's see that knockdown, a right that hurt him, little delay, missed with a left. I believe it was the left hook there. There's another right there. hand and a left hook and a right behind that. And three punches, cumulative effect sending Leonard down. All right, take another look at it. There's the first right hand, that wobbled him. Missed the other one, missed the hook to the body. And then there's another good right hand left hook. And the final right hand, and down he goes. You can do it. You can do Gentlemen, it. Uh, it's safe to say the way we have it, Sugar Ray Leonard needs a knockout in this final round to win the fight. Absolutely. He's been down twice in the fight. It's the point system. If I was in Tommy Hearns' corner, I'd say pump that jib, pump that jib. Don't let this guy close to you. Don't, let, don't let Leonard be too nice to you in there right now. Right. And you don't have to take any chances. No, when he tried it, Marvin, he smiled. He smiled, uh, tried to say, come on, we're friends. All right. What I want. <laughs> Hearns after him. Now Hearns busy here early in round well, 12. That's something he doesn't have to do. Well, he is a gallant guy trying to put him away. Look at Hearns wail away. He scored two knockdowns already. May not have to do it, but there's so much pride at stake. Both of these guys gritting, gritting their teeth, giving it their all. Tommy Hearns wants this so badly. Sugar Ray Leonard, of course, one of the proudest champions ever, will not concede anything. Did you notice the way Hearns... Right hand by Leonard. Both guys landed right hands, Tim. Hearns is waiting to get back in. Another up. right hand, backing Leonard at the Hearns at the rope. Ray Leonard. He's got to fight him back. And here's what Tommy didn't know how to do in the first fight. Hold on. And walk him out of there. Leonard's trying to push him to the rope so he can bang him. Referee supposed to break him. Leonard did not break that time. He's slick. Bob, you know that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Here he goes. Come on, Tommy. Leonard rallying. Backs up yep. Hearns again, but Hearns fires back. But like you said, Tommy's getting the last monitor. But Tommy's this is right on the ropes now where he shouldn't be. Left hook landed by Leonard. And Tommy has nothing left. Leonard in desperation now trying to put he his hand away. Watch the clock now, Tim. Tommy has nothing left. Right hand by Leonard and Hearns in difficulty along the ropes. Another combination. Punching back, but he's wide open. Leonard firing away. Can we see a replay of 1981? Oh, but here's Tommy Hearns holding on. That's Look smart. at that clock going around. That's, That's what he smart. couldn't do in the first fight. Exactly. Under a minute to go. Wild right hand by Leonard. Landed on the back of Hearns. Hearns wobbly legged, but holding on as you point out something he and failed to right do. And trying to in walk the in. Fight. That's what Tommy gets in trouble. He's, that's but what he's doing better. He right knows enough to hold, though, Marvin, he's which holding. he did not know how to do before. But he's backing up on that rope again, and that's where Leonard wants you so he can flow. He's trying to punch back. Leonard giving it everything, and Hearns trying to punch back. Not much sting in his punches. Staggering around the ring. Under 30 seconds we go. That was the big left hook by Leonard. Yeah, Leonard knows the last 30 seconds. Leonard to the body and now up to the head. Hearns punching back, but no effect. Well, Leonard's a little tired now. Yes, he and is. Tried you know, to break him. There should be a point taken away Leonard right there. Leonard punching on the breaker, right hand lead score. There can no Hearns longer be a knockout staggering. in the fight. There cannot Final be a seconds. knockout, Tim. Final seconds with Hearns still on his feet. 
The crowd is on its feet. What a war! What a fight! Very good fight. I believe Tommy won it. Well, on our scorecard, we can't change our mind, Mob. We said before the last round that Ray Leonard needed a knockout to win. He didn't get it. He batted Tommy all over the place, did not get the knockout. Hearn scored two knockouts in the fight. They're on the point system. Two knockdowns in the fight. They're on the point system. I'd have to score it for Tommy Hearns. I would agree. We've got Hearns the winner, but we'll see how the officials see it. The judges here tonight are Tommy Kazmarek from New Jersey, Dalby Shirley, Jerry Roth from Las Vegas. A tremendous battle, no matter which way the judges see it. We certainly have Hearns the winner. He scored knockdowns in round three and round 11. Ray Leonard's biggest round, the fifth, and then in the 12th, a tremendous rally against a tired Tommy Hearns. Marvin, you know, I owe Tommy Hearns an apology. After the Kinchin fight, I said on the air, Tommy, what do you need it for anymore? You should retire. You have all the money you want. You were down. You were hurt badly. Retire, Tommy. And did he show me? I said he didn't have any legs anymore. Didn't have a good chin, but he sure proved it tonight. He did. He uh, fought an excellent fight, I felt. You know, it's, like, Here, again, two Here's tempers. the punch stat. Leonard landed 232 punches. Tommy, 221. T Hearns was more accurate with 40%. But Hearns scored those two big knockdowns, knockdowns. And that should be the difference in the fight. Exactly. See, I'm trying to tell you that Leonard's not moving as much. He put that little bulk on him. And uh, that's that's been a big bad thing for him. See another thing, Marv. Leonard's strategy all during his training was to throw every punch like a bomb and hurt the other guy, and he forgot to put his punches together. That's what got him here. The big punch comes all by itself. I told Barbara maybe 20 million to do it for me. <laughs> all right, let's go up to Michael Buffer. Jerry Roth scores the bout. 113 to 112 for Thomas Hearns. Tommy Kazmarek scores it. 113 to 112 for Sugar Ray Leonard. And Dolby Shirley scores the bout. 112, 112. This bout is a draw, ladies and gentlemen. The bout is a draw. The bout is a draw. Let's get both boxers here. Tommy Hearns. Everybody, everybody calm down, guys. Let's get Tommy Hearns over here. Tommy. Tommy Hearns. Manuel Stewart. Ray Leonard. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I gotta, I've got to tell you guys both that Marvin Hagler, Gil Clancy, and I had this fight scored for Tommy Hearns primarily on the basis of the two knockdowns. Let's get Tommy's reaction to the decision first, a draw. Tommy, what are your thoughts? Uh, I thought I uh, won the earlier rounds, um, but Ray was able to come back. Um, I can't uh, say nothing negative about Ray. It's a, a great fight, I gotta give him his props. But would you expect with two knockdowns to get only a draw? Well, I was hoping for a win, but you know how that is. Well, the crowd is registering their unhappiness. Ray Leonard, I, I got to put it to you this way. Do you feel lucky to get a draw? No, I don't. It was a close fight. I thought the fact that uh, those two knockdowns work uh, was an edge. But I was able to come back in uh, with middle rounds and late round to gain it. Because a uh, knockdown was like a 10-8 round. I think I came back strong enough in uh, the times I did rock Tommy. That, uh, to get two-point rounds. Yeah, exactly. Did you, did you expect this kind of a fight? Well, I always expect tough fights, so no matter what you guys be saying. 12 rounds? Everyone said that Tommy was, uh, was a shot fighter, and uh, the fact of the matter was, he showed what he's made of. Well, you so said he was a shot fighter, too. Short win it, too. Short win it. <laughs> Come here, Tommy. Tommy, you don't seem terribly disappointed by this draw. Well, this was something you wanted so I, badly. I, I, I feel grateful for it because I worked hard for it. I thought I wanted to fight, but, you know, that's uh, up to the judges. And I can't um, argue with the judges. I'm, I'm proud to have 
a draw instead of a loss of our record. You are a gallant warrior. You both are. You both gave everything. You gave more than anybody expected you could possibly produce in this fight. I congratulate you both. No matter what the decision is, as I said, we saw it for Tommy Hearns, but nonetheless, a great, great battle. How about a rematch? Go home this time. Trilla, and thinking about you all the time, but I can think about my woman sometimes now. A rematch, Ray? Have you had enough of this guy or not? Well, I think we'd both exhaust it. Are you, are you talking rematch, Tommy? Uh, if you want, yes. We, let's, let's, let's go home and rest for a while. I boy. think we should go home and think about it and then come back and make a decision. But right now, we're too tired to say what we want to do. <laughs> That's you know, fair I, enough. I want to speak for myself. I don't know about him. That's fair enough. You've been through a tremendous emotional burden, Tommy. You showed you dealt with it fantastically tonight. Congratulations to you again, Ray. A, a fantastic comeback. You got yourself a draw. And there you have them, two great champions who have put on an unbelievable show here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard going the distance of 12 for a draw. And now let's return to you from the chaos in ringside to Jim Hill and Al Bernstein. Okay, Tim, thank you very much. Absolutely incredible. I don't think anyone that watched the fight or thought about it beforehand, Al, thought that it would go the distance. And I know you yourself, you thought that Tommy won it. Yes, of all the scenarios, though, a draw was the least likely, even if it would go to a decision. I thought Tommy won the fight on the basis of two things that Gil and Marv talked about, the early, the early rounds he won and the two knockdowns, which would make those two-point rounds. But I think the key element, we talked a little bit about it before the fight, and, of course, Gil and Marv talked about it during the fight, Tommy Hearns could have won this fight had he used the left hook to the body and the head a lot more. It was there for him. It's a punch he has used against every other opponent, but never against Sugar Ray Leonard, and it cost him dearly tonight. Why hasn't he ever used, why would he use it as often as he should? I the don't left? know. He, and he saw he, it could work in that in that fight. In the middle rounds where he hurt Ray. Remember where he hurt him mm -hmm. with that left hook? I think that really, really hurt him. Ray Leonard, as it was, he was against the Lund, uh, wasn't throwing as many punches as we've seen the Ray Leonard of the past throw, which is why I think most of us thought Tommy might have uh, had a decision victory. Clearly, both fighters were slower than they have been in the past. But both men were able to hit the other, creating a really exciting fight. And both men have terrific firepower. Let no one say anything about the chin of Tommy Hearns anymore. I was just getting ready to add, to add to that. You know, going into the fight, everyone had said that Tommy Hearns could no longer take a punch. They talked about his legs. They said that his legs were shot. It was just the opposite, even though there were times throughout the course yes. of the fight when he was quite wobbly. He was hurt, and Sugar Ray Leonard came in and did exactly what he needed to do, ripped those double left hooks to the body and the head, but he couldn't get Tommy out of there. And uh, this one will, uh, you think there'll be some debates over the next month? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. One of the things that's quite surprising to me is the manner in which Tommy took the draw. Yeah, astonishing to me, considering the long wait. But I'll tell you, my theory on that is he, he feels he redeemed himself by simply fighting all the way with Leonard, proving that he was as good a man as Leonard, certainly in a very close fight. And I think that gave Tommy Hearns peace of mind, Jim, and that was what this was all about, apparently. And every place that he goes, people will tell him, we know you won it. Talking they about may, Tommy. They may well, that's for sure. Well, whoever called this fight a war should be given a gold medal themselves because that's exactly what it was. An absolute war between Thomas Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard. Okay, let's talk about talk about gold medals. Let's talk about what happened in the undercard today. Well, the for the Olympians, Michael Carbajal winning in the four rounds in a tough decision. Kennedy McKinney got all that he could want in winning a decision over David Marino. And then Robert Wayne Gila. Stunned winning a majority of decision in his fight. Andrew Maynard with a one round knockout. And uh, Ray Mercer, the Olympic gold medalist in the heavyweight division, just knocked Ken Crosby sideways in winning his fight in the first round. So the Olympians came through, some with flying colors, some not. One quick question, though. What does this do down the road? I wonder what Roberto Duran is thinking right now. Well, I, you know, I'll tell you something. Roberto Duran looked quicker in his fight with Iran Barkley than these guys did. More hand speed and better combinations. I don't know if that means he'll beat either one of these guys, but, of course, we have to see what they decide to do. Do you think that the public will want another uh, another rematch? But th that is problematical. I don't know, and I think even both men were wondering about that, but it was exciting. Ah. Uh. Absolutely <laughs> unforgettable evening. Absolutely amazing. Let's go back downstairs right now and get some final comments. Let's go once again to Tim Ryan. Tim? 
All right, Jim, it was an unbelievable evening indeed, and I think the scorecard is very interesting indeed. There was a lot of discussion in the years following the first fight about whether or not there should be more 10-8 rounds in rounds that don't have knockdowns in them. Tonight, in the two knockdown rounds scored by Hearns, all three judges scored them 10-8 rounds as one would expect. But however, in the 12th round and in the uh, fourth, uh, fifth round for Ray, there were 10-8 rounds scored. In the fifth, all judges scored 10-8 rounds. And in the 12th, Dalby surely gave Ray Leonard a 10-8 round. Your comment, Skill? Well, I think that uh, the 12th round should have been a 10-8 round for Leonard. The two knockdowns certainly should have been 10-8, maybe 10-7 for Tommy Hearns. And the other, the other round, the fifth round, should have been a 10-9 round. <coughs> well, and yet all three judges saw the fifth round 10-8 for well, Leonard. So we've got the kind of controversy that boxing's used to. I was stunned, Marvin Hagler, that that Tommy Hearns did not take this harder for well, something that has meant so much to him. What do you, you think know, of that? Especially when you fight a guy like a Sugar Ray Leonard, you got to realize you got to knock him out. You know, and let's be honest with you. I felt as though that Tommy did edge the fight. Those two knockdowns should have been in a big favor of Tommy Hearns. Well, nonetheless, Tommy Hearns seemed at the end to be not all that upset. He had given everything he had. So did Ray Leonard. That's what we've come to expect of these two boxers over the years. They certainly did not disappoint. While the skills may not be there, while the hand speed that Al Bernstein referred to may not be there, the hearts are as big as ever, Gil. Well, hearts, championship hearts, no question about it. Two great, great fighters. I felt as though they showed a lot of uh, championship quality. Marvin, should there be a Hearns Leonard three? You know that's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> they no, don't want me in there. I disagree. <laughs> I think these guys have had enough of each other. I think they respect each other. I don't think we'll see a Leonard Hearns 3. Marvin Hagler, what about you? Have I'm you going, got a place in the picture? I'm going to movies. They don't got enough money for me. No interest in coming back, seriously? Oh, no. 20 million I mentioned, but then. Uh, 20 million no. would Mike get you. I think pick. I can still get back to do better than that. Come on. But no, I think the movie's for me. The movies are for Marvin Hagler. <laughs> Maybe the boxing rings are still for Hearns and Leonard. We'll find out. It was called a war. There's oftentimes labels that appear to be slightly out of whack in terms of height but i think at the end of 12 glorious rounds between two great champions we did indeed see a war now let's return you back up to our tower position jim hill and al bernstein all right tim thank you very much and after what happened everybody's going to want to have a reminder of tonight's uh fight so tonight's official program for the leonard hearns war is available for order on a limited supply basis the 68 page of program features fold out posters of both fighters a beautiful tribute to sugar ray robinson great stories photos and statistics on both sugar ray leonard and thomas hearns order your copy of tonight's official program the same one sold at the live gate here at caesar's palace the cost is ten dollars per copy fifteen dollars outside the united states call 1-800-222-3100 to place your order operators are on duty right now so go to it mastercard and visa accepted orders accepted as supply will last so call right now for your copy of tonight's official program 1-800-222-3100 leonard hearns 2 the war has been brought to you by budweiser for all you do this buds for you absolutely an incredible evening al any final thoughts well, I think uh, several things were proven. For one thing, if Sugar Ray Leonard is standing at the end of a fight these days, he, he does not lose the decision. And secondly, two very gallant warriors. Absolutely, without a doubt. Thank you so much for joining us and being with us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Hill. On behalf of everyone involved with pay-per-view, so long from Las Vegas, Nevada, and Caesars Palace, where you've seen Leonard Hearns, War Two.